O que a ver com isso de fusão já tem? O que a ver com isso sem civil até? O que a ver com isso? Esconde dentro da curva o dinheiro da nação. We understand your summer USA tour had to be canceled. What really happened? Wait, why it had to be canceled? Uh, all right. First that. Uh, we gonna we we gonna say thank you very much to Justin, the Cradling, at the Matil Community Center, and everybody else at the Rag on the River. Also to the guys of the Irish Nations International Reggae Band, based in the Riverside. You know? The problem is that for Brazilians, uh, it's it's not easy to get the USA visa. You know. Uh, anyway, right? And. Uh, we paid one office, call it Net Vistos, to get uh, to give us the assistance into the visas ap application. All right, but they got our money, and almost we've been arrested in the USA because they got the wrong visas for us. And the guys at the USA consulate in São Paulo was man, they were, they were excellent, great people, you know, because. They gave us the assistance and told us what's the right visa, but we had no more time. When we discovered it, when we've been in, in the consulate, we had no more time to go. So next year, we promise you that next year we are going to USA with the right visas. We are getting it already. We are going to USA with the right visas to make this tour happen, all right? in all the dates, in all the venues, and probably in, on the rag on the river also. Okay, that's it. It's not our fault, all right? We're gonna say sorry to everybody else who, who uh, those are waiting for us there. Uh, we are very sad, we are very disappointed, you know, with all this situation, but it was not our fault. We are taking care about the legal, the legal proceeds against this office. All right, for they can fix this wrong, this mistake. Okay, but next year we are going California. Wait for us there. Uh, for your U.S. fans who are excited to see your perform, what do you have to tell them to reserve them that they will get to see you soon? You guys will see us next year. All right, we'll be there in uh, probably we will we'll go one month before. All right, we are going on July to USA to keep playing there until August, all right? Uh, in August, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna burn my, my joint, all right? We are going there in the July, in the last week of July. I will be there with our promoter in the USA, right? Uh, and the band is coming on August to perform all the days. So we are, we are, doing, we are preparing one more stronger and nervous show concert for you guys okay we are going with the Irish nations international that it's a reggae band from riverside california those are uh the san simiga dub family there all right uh, we are going man just waiting we are going uh what current projects in san simiga dub work on all right we have many projects uh moving on you know but i think the main project is our new songs you know uh we are getting ready some new songs you know uh supposed we were recorded it in usa last august but no way okay we'll do it in brazil all right so uh also we are we are getting ready one punk rock hardcore tribute but in ready versions that we and the guys at the nazireu rupestre that's one Brazilian reggae band. Uh, those are influenced by punk rock also, you know. And we are getting ready, uh, we, are, we are preparing some reggae versions for some classic tunes by some Brazilian punk rock and hardcore bands, you know. And uh, I can mention some names as Cholera, Ratos de Porão, Innocentes, 365, and many bands will do it, right? But you know, 
the main project is to keep on, on touring, man. Keep on touring in, down here in Brazil. In December, we are going northwest of Brazil to perform some concerts. Life goes on, brothers. Uh, tell us who are some of your biggest musical inspirations. You know, myself, as myself, personally, uh, I have many, 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 many musical influences since the heavy metal uh, to the rag, you know, but I can mention in, in the band, right? Uh, the main influences in the band are Black Hugo, Peter Tosh, Steel Pose, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Sex Pistols, Ramones, uh, some Brazilian names as Corsos, uh, Beto Guedes, and uh, you know, and the new generation of reggae music uh, also had been given us some influence as groundation, for example, you know. We feel, we feel influenced by the groundation music, you know. That mix they do with the jazz and all that shit, you know, that's really great, it works, you know. But we have influenced since the heavy metal, passing through trash metal, going through the reggae roots, and passing through the ragamuffin, dance hall, dub, uh, you know, and in, in the punk rock influence. That's basically it, you know. Uh... How was reggae music changing your lives? I think in the many ways also, you know. Uh, we learn it, in the reggae music we learn it, the real meaning of the word unity. The real meaning of the word respect. Something is, is, is you know, it, it seems like something lost in Brazil last days, you know. Uh, Brazilian rag scene is so fucking different, they don't know what is respect. And uh, we know the meaning of a lot of words that we've been hearing, hearing since we are born it, you know, as to love, to unite people, to respect people, uh, don't be racist, don't be a damn nazist, and all this man, it's... You know, also changed the life because gave me the opportunity to grow up in the world, you know, to can go to, to can go a lot of parts that I, I would be never be there, right? How's the feeling to inspire younger musicals to play reggae? Oh that's really great man. Something that we never thought okay. before, you know. We never thought about when we start to play reggae music, we never thought that our music go away so long, you know, so far away. Uh, I have one, we, we have been influencing a lot of people, you know, a lot of new bands, new artists, and Brazil. And now we, I can I, I can have to mention one, one guy that's good dude, you know, from India, and lovers mutiny, you know, that a band that's right direct influenced by Sensi Miga dub, you know, they mix rock and roll with the reggae music. And I guess that they are the first reggae band around India. And you can check it, man, our music is going in India, brother, and we are in Brazil, you know, and uh, that's really great. That's uh, a way, it it's, <laughs> seems like same to us, you know, uh, keep going on, my friend, influencing people to do good and great things and change their lives. But I think that's the best, the best payment that we have with the music is that, you know, uh, to know that our music is changing lives around the globe, that our music is uh, making people think about what is happening in the world, that our music can also introduce love and respect and meanings inside the people, you know. And also that we are spreading the Brazilian culture because we are a Brazilian band, you know. And uh, for sure, people, for sure, people in India are want to know, are wanting to know more, more, and more, more, more about what's happening in Brazil. And that's great. That's really great. Okay, for everybody. And the Iraq nation, word beat, you know, those are connecting people and uniting continents.
Right? I Rag Nation, one bit, that's all mine! Ha! <laughs>